All right, so there's gonna be an MP Lone Druid that's gonna be a nice size size Viper, so indeed Offlane Viper. And then he has even more base damage with this tree, and so it looks like we actually get first blood already Offlane, so... So they will get an avalanche on Trophy as they get the fortunes and the toss again on the bear trying to make fight at this engage, but he's not going to live. He's only a level three necrophos. And you know, I was very skeptical of this necrophos pick, and for now, uh, the results are exactly what I what I expected this to be. Oh, there you go, the EMP with the cold snap, another route from our boy EMP, and that is a killing spree for the bear. Going to reveal his size, but it also slows down 33. DJ has the cell okay, so case, is being committed as well as the sprout. The tornado will find Ace actually dispels his flame guard as he is forced to commit the Revenant away. He will get the EMP with that stun jab. He's gonna get false from onto him. There is black hole available for the enigma, but he doesn't find a good angle to get two heroes, and as he tries to disengage, he will probably take down to the nether toxin and the profile flames. 33 keeps on running away, has this leech region somewhere else, they actually lost the Elder Titan and they do get a good black hole onto two heroes, but he's taking down to the pass of the Viper and they will lose both the Viper and the Enigma. So how do they actually fight? That is really my question, they will get the Aegis onto the Ember Spirit, the, uh, the Astro Spirit is trying to chase him down as he gets another Fire Remnant out, Searing Chains will be committed, the Stomp actually finds the Enigma, but they're gonna get the Aegis onto the Viper as Fana sidesteps a Tornado, 33 with the Bear looking for him, they're gonna get the midnight pulse down as the toss whip to the Searing Chains and the Slide of Fist, that's actually a lot of damage, the false promise, on to Ice Ice Ice, can they get the kill with the Reaper side, that's a triple kill for Ace, he's in his bottom side of the map, PPD, oh, they cancel TPs, what the hell, oh boy, this could be the fight that they were looking for, the midnight pulse with the toss, oh my god, three men Echo Stone, as they try to go for more fanatic, Ice 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 is super tanky, they will not get the kill with the Reaper side, but it looks like he will fall nonetheless, the Spirit is looking for him, but they're not gonna find yet, they're Definitely not going to find him in the middle lane. We see a black hole with the Reaper side. The false promise does stop that as they try to actually heal the Viper. He has 18 magical charges. I think he might survive this fight. Ace gets a Galactic Street and Ice 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 is trying to push PPK. He spawned onto Ace and he's trying to uh, right click this Viper and he's gonna be successful here. He has so much damage that Passive is not working anymore and they will finally get a kill onto that fight uh, on the Viper. He on slowing him down. He's holding onto that Ghost Shroud. The Gatos locking the Viper in place as they do get the Mega Arm close that on to the tiny, but the center stop actually stopping Fnatic from moving further. Sucks are very low. The fortune zone is going to lock him in, and it looks like the radiance damage. BKB with the black hole on to two. Actually, the bear as well. They will drop that Elder Titan out as they already lose the Oracle, but they will actually find it. But they actually get the false promise onto the bear, so he keeps attacking that radiance. Beat up for so long. The bear finally falls. The stream will fall on the side of NIP, but they will get the Reaper side killing the hero. Oh my god, the damage from the Cataclysm is insane. And with the Spirit Vessel, it looks like they will find the, uh, the Necrophos as well. So that is a 2 for 2, 1 core on the side of NIP will buy back, and that core is the Necrophos, he doesn't have the ult anymore, but they will root the Viper, they're gonna get a Glitter Cape onto him, but with the Spirit Vessel, they might be able to turn this around, there is no Black Hole anymore, and Ace so long, he already committed his BKB, and even with the Radius, they will lose that hero, that is not a dieback onto the Necrophos, but he's actually stuck there, because of the Sprout and the Ice Wall, they will chase the Enigma down, and it looks like Fnatic, they do have the upper hand in this fight, Ice 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 will finally fall, Vada, still pretty healthy here, can they actually get on top of DJ, he's mega fast, and with that Solar Crest, Jesus Christ, the damage is insane, but he's not going to kill Peter Pan. 35 HP as he disengages, commits the Mega Run, TP away from the other Titan, gets cancelled by the Angels, and they will finally get that kill, whereas the Purifying Flames, Peter Pan is still alive, and they don't find that kill, and it looks like they just debased the entirety of Fnatic PPD. God, that survives for it all. And here inside the Roshan Pit, and... I am very confused. Oh no, they're gonna get the Siri Chains. Oh my god, the tornado stops the combo from the tiny. Oh my god, but they will get the toss back anyways. This is, oh my god, they go small blocking a banning place. They're gonna be forced to go the BKB and now the black hole stopping him. But they will get the false promise back as they try to find another. That's a refresher for 23. Where's the black hole? It's on to two again. And it's the Viper and the Evoker. It looks like that man will finally fall. He has no five the Reaper side on to Ice Ice Ice. He's still alive, but there is no false promise this time. He's going to fall. And they will at least find a kill on the enemy, but the tiny is also dead. But three heroes dead on the side of Fnatic as they try to chase the slide of pistols. Not kill oh, the cancel TP, and the Europe is going to be next. Looks like somehow NIP going towards NIP. Another TP from the uh, Enigma here is gonna get a Malphite onto MP. The TP from the Nature's Prophet, the Tornado will connect onto two with the AP as well. And that is a TP from Peter Pan, and the Sprout is walking the Lone in place as they do get a toss with the Fire from Evan Ford. Nice BKB onto EMP. Look at that Echo Stop. So much damage. And now Peter Pan. Taking so much damage from that bear, but the bear will be forced out with the false promise. He did.
did get an invisibility talent and Oracle is the first casualty. Uh, Enigma has refresher now, so there's two black holes available. He doesn't really get the angle here or onto a bed as he looks for the play. He's not gonna get it. And all the silence there is. Oh my god, the cataclysm onto this Enigma and he will fall. He has buyback if he needs to. That's a buyback onto the Oracle as well. DJ with the BKB just chasing BPD down. And he has so much damage with that solar crest. Can they get the skill somewhere else? The Reaper side fell the kill onto the bear, but they're gonna get ace as well. Look at that close that way. Okay, the loaders are actually saving him for a while, but the tornado EMP might just lock him in place. He doesn't have any mana. And with the alacrity, can they find the kill onto ace? Yes, they can. Even with the tree toss, they're not, not gonna find it with the Viper Strike. Saxa has solar crest onto him. He's so look at DJ just smashing everyone with those right clicks. And even with that buyback, where the hell is the Enigma? He's holding on to it. The Necros is gonna fall as well. They don't have any way to save him. Look at that. They dispel the Scepter. And they just crush NIP to the ground. The Hurricane Pike, Atos, Octarine Core. So he has a lot of HP region. Oh, look at that. Fada looking for a play here. The Shiva's Guard actually zoning and just leaving Ice 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 by himself. But Trey connects on to Fada. Can he get the Scepter to dodging it? He will. As they do get a toss here, the Black Hole is going to be on to two. And they don't have any ways of stopping that. Look at the damage. Oh, they do have one way. And it's the Earth Splitter. And they're going to stop it. And it looks like they're chasing 33. He's going to pop his refresher. He has BTB again. The Cataclysm zoning him completely. As the Astro games vision they will completely take him out of the fight as everything is happening at the same time i don't know how to follow this fight Oh, Siri James locking Viper in place as he gets the first step forward. Nice low fire with the reflected Viper strike because of the Lotus. But they will get the Echo Stomp onto to the Tornado is going to connect. Where is the Earth Splitter is going to be avoided because of the Tornado for a bit. But now Beekeep is going to be popped by Ace. They're just going to shred Viper. And he has Vibeck. I wonder if he's going to come in and look at the damage from DJ. Finally forcing the Ghost Run on the side of NIP. They're looking for that Eva toss back. And they will find the Elder Titan. No, the Echo Stomp is going to lock them in place with the Black Hole hitting onto everyone in the Ripper side will also find that kill and that is double buyback triple buyback on the side of fanatic suddenly the gold advantage is actually on the side of nip but the little bear was trying to split push and they will glyph and tp a lot of heroes back jabs will be able to walk it off as 33 with the shadow blade looking for a target he has the double black hole the haste reaction gets snatched by the invoker and they will the bears here what is happening oh no mp i think you're going to die back right now no he does have a buyback he it was uh he did not buy back in the first fights there and Roshan is up, so Fnatic upon that. Oh my god, dude. DJ is a freaking beast. He got the attack speed talent. BKB is gonna be popped as they actually look for Japs. He's gonna get the PC. They launch with him trying to disengage. He will get side of ice, but the tornado actually stops BPD as they did commit the air splitter. The Oracle will commit that uh, false problems with the invisibility. Do they have vision? It looks like they do. And he will be right click down. And I think that is a dieback on the Oracle. This might be Roshan. For NIP. If they allow NIP to have double black hole and ages and refresher, so that's triple black hole theoretically. Poggers. Uh, the uh, Octarine Core E, look at the cooldown of the Tornado. Just clears up the entire wave. There's not much that they can do, even with the pipe onto the uh, Fada Necrophos. And he did get one range barrack somewhere else. Looks like he's to get this at the same time. He can be being popped. Look at the damage from DJ. Can they stop the PP? from Peter Pan and they can't and because they can they will get one melee barracks top without committing any spell how much uh, difference is gonna make oh do they have vision of the bear no they don't it's night time oh they toss back they will find MP he's trying to disengage the side of ice is locking him in place and they are trying to save him he's still alive they're holding on to the reaper side and he will die he has buyback I assume but the black hole is gonna be committed on to the buyback buy on our boy can they save ice 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 is going to live from the black hole but the midnight pulse takes him down the tornado EMP is here the midball is not doing much. They will get the fake The first instance of the cataclysm is there, and they will die back. The ice 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 viper. They finally find a kill onto the enigma. That is so much damage coming from our boy DJ. Look at that! But he's not strong enough. He doesn't have that BKB. The sprout is gonna lock him in place, and he looks like he will follow the false promise is there. Trying to buy time as Ace we will be able to fire Revenant away. And they, this is such a hard fight for Fnatic. I'm not sure gonna be able to take this nice tornado finds too with the EMP, but there's still the enigma alive. You gotta be careful the fire remnant out. They will drain some of the mana from the Necrophos, but they're slowly but surely pushing this. The Earth Splitter is a waste as they will get the mid ball, trying to look for some targets. The side of ice on to the Invoker is going to get False Promise down. The Midnight Pulse is laid down. He has to leave that place, or he's going to take so much damage. Ace doing a lot of damage here. DJ will die back two minutes without him as the last melee barracks will 
probably fall there you go the right clicks and IP looks like they will be able to brute force this without committing any of the two black holes that they still have 37 seconds until ice 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 is back how do you stop this I don't think you do finally ice 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 actually gets buyback back and they will try and fight this the fortunes and will lock down PPD but Bada shows up they have the blow for the bears taking so much damage is it before to BKB and the anyway gets like the duty air they can get this kill that would be so huge and they actually destroy the anyway he's dead for two minutes if they can actually now just group up the sword from 33 if they could push right now this is probably the only chance Fnatic will have the entire game the cataclysm oh, okay they're trying to cut the wave but the the time that she's saving so many trips are gonna reflect the viper strike but it doesn't matter if he's actually dead he just silenced he's feared up and there you go that is a kill well they keep on pushing the greaves will heal them back up and it is time for them to maybe win this game the dire curry gets killed by ppd i assume a bet has travels to actually assist his team and they will buy back the tiny the range barracks is now done can they equalize the melee barracks the mega creeps they're trying to go for this 45 seconds no enigma the both are on to the viper they really need to save this viper and now the loader's arm is going to dispel just so much damage onto the ember and now he's dead for two minutes he's gonna buy it back as the bear just shreds the melee barracks up they will get the electric onto him but the glyph is buying five seconds can they stop the bear he's so low but the false promise onto the bear this might be enough for them to brute force the melee creeps the melee barracks can they get the oh my god this bear is insane but they will lift him up into the air he looks at the first bear might die they have another resummon though and the range barracks the bear actually survives and they will get mega fanatic somehow actually does this now they have to disengage the cataclysm is insane fada taking a lot of damage he's gonna be feared up nice abyssal blade on top of the alacrity bear but they will probably lose this way they have to get the hell out and it looks like fanatic they will equalize mega creeps against nip against all odds i think i was excited and i probably just uh, hit my table and the camera stopped <laughs> All right, let's check buybacks here, boys. It is time for... Oh my god, that is a... Uh, what? Huh. So yeah, there's buyback on PPD. Necro. Eld, uh, Elder Titan. I have bad if he has that buyback, but he did BKB. He's going to completely dodge the damage at 33. He tried to go for the black hole, but now he's gonna be chased down by Ice Ice Ice. And his BKB is now gone. He did not commit the first instance of that black hole. And with the Cataclysm, they might find Fana here. So much damage. And he's dead for two minutes. And that is the first casualty of this game. They keep on chasing. They did buyback PPD as well. So there's two heroes dead on the side of Fnatic, of NAP already. They're gonna buy back Necro as well. The second Cataclysm doing so much damage. Damage 33. He's very low, but he's not chasing a bad. He doesn't want to go for that Enigma kill. So he's going to be alive for now. Very low in HP. The Shadow Blade allowing him to disengage. And they did lose the Tiny. They're gonna lose BPD as well. Fada trying to disengage. Do they have the Earth Splitter? He's gonna have to take it off. Oh my god, he actually refresher to blink or something he's going to be fine but the tornado does oh man a bad okay that side of ice tp out but even still one buyback but still invoker has travels he's ready to fight they just need to not clump up it's one minute on the side of nip oh my god that bear is not gonna give them a minute look at that bear just shredding the bears that bear just shredding the bears and it looks like the shadow plate and probably looking for an angle but they're not grouping up there's there is a way they will try and get 33 now that is one black hole. He finds one bear with a BKP. The Cataclysm, though, will destroy the Enigma. And that is GG. Game 1 goes towards Fnatic on a 72-minute gruesome game. Wow.